You can see those like a uh, where there's a little magnetic field. A lot of my own personal research is related to predicting the state of the waste that we have in different storage environments in the UK and also working out mitigation strategies to avoid any potential thermal excursion or pyrophoric event that might happen in some of those flammable corrosion materials that did get exposed to oxygen. So that's the mainstay of what I do with Sellafield. And, and because of our research, um, we're the academic leads for the Sellafield Centre of Expertise for Uranium and Reactive Metals. Uh, maybe we could peek down into the... Yeah, I think you can click here, right, the right... Uh, the, the, yeah. Our group has done lots of pioneering research yeah, yeah, from yeah, developing yeah, medical yeah, device yeah, technologies yeah, yeah, and through to helping Sellafield modify yeah, yeah, how they yeah, handle their yeah, nuclear waste yeah, and saving yeah, the taxpayer yeah, hundreds of millions of pounds. I'm going to give you two examples. One of our research fellows, Dr. John Day, um, he's a specialist in lasers and optics and developing devices for, for essentially measuring materials and surfaces. And he developed a small probe, a Brahman probe, which initially he developed to go inside a gas fired power station to inspect the turbine blades uh, in the energy generator. Um, but then over a period of 15 years, he's taken that same technology, which initially was a probe which was about this size, and he's miniaturized it, and he's repurposed it, and he's translated it, and now he's developed it into a hypodermic syringe, which can be directly injected into someone to provide an in-situ measurement of cancerous tissue. Now, that's a, an amazing translation of technology from purely industrial related to generating electricity to you know, solving or going towards solving a really big problem, which is you know, detection of cancer. <laughs> Thank you. 